it's Whimsy and we're back today with the last episode of Mass Effect 1, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I can't believe that we're already at the end. I know I haven't done all side quests. There's like two of them that I missed, I guess. There's a couple in the Citadel that we might be able to do, I think. But yeah, we're at the Citadel right now. The Normandy is grounded. And my moderator told me that when I arrive at the Citadel and uh, Captain Anderson wants to speak to me, that's like the last episode probably for me since I always play like two hours and a half or something. So, um, and now we're here. That's my, that's the mission that I'm at. So, um... I guess it's the last episode today. For the occasion, I always do a cosplay or a special makeup when I finish a game. Any game. Any type of playthrough you will see on my channel, I've, I've done that. I always do something like that. And today I wanted to cosplay my own character, Persephone Shepherd, which I love. I love her so much. She's amazing. She looks amazing too, so I was really inspired to do something similar. Obviously, I don't have short hair, I have very long hair, so I was not able to do like a short hair updo or something. But I thought maybe like a, some kind of um, Viking-y uh, vibe might fit her. I feel like it, she's kind of a baddie, you know, she's kind of a fierce and edgy, so I feel like a bit of um, structure in the hair might... might might do the trick, you know, and also a fishtail braid. So that's that's what I did instead of having short hair. And the contact lenses I actually had since my Yennefer cosplay for The Witcher 2. If you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and watch. Um, but I used those contact lenses to do Yennefer and I was like, wait, Persephone has purple eyes as well. That's perfect. So I have contact lenses and the rest is just makeup. So. I hope you guys like it and it's just for fun you know I'm I'm no professional at cosplaying or anything like that as you can see but I always love to show my appreciation for a game in this way and also it's just fun to do so yeah so I think without further ado we'll head into it let's go Here we are. Um, so like I said, I think we need to go... Uh, it's in main mission. We need to go talk to Anderson, but... I'm guessing there will be other stuff to do maybe in the Citadel. We'll see, but we can Presidium go around a little bit. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally the designed VI to do. Is it the that I did? CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Wasn't it? What? Isn't that me? Isn't that me? Like, but it was for the Alliance. Like, CSEC would know about it, no? Hello, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Hello. Maybe, um... Yeah, I just want to go around. Maybe I can buy... Like, new stuff. I doubt it, but we never know. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock. I mean, that I have already. Wait. Do I? That's a 10? Um, that's not what I... Comparison. Aha! <laughs> um, I won't be able to buy all of them though. But maybe the pistol, I'd be interested. That's a 10! This one. Yeah, let's buy this one. Armageddon. Wait. Actually, I think I can buy all of it. No, I can't. There is no way. Mm, I kind of want the shotgun. And then... Okay, yeah, I can. 
Oh my god. That's crazy. I can't believe. No, that's not better. Okay, so I had not noticed that I could get better Master Gear before now. So that's really amazing. Let me just equip that. Um, here. Good lord. Holy hell. All right. <laughs> I think that's max, right? Like, I don't think you can get any better than this. Like, a 10? Imagine. I know my armor is not the best. I wish I had better, but oh well. Why, there we go. God damn. That was a good choice. Holy shit, I still have a lot of money too. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see the map again. CSEC office, maybe I don't need traffic control. No, I'll just go here to the presidium. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has yeah. passed away. I was mad about that. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians <laughs> died the of music. natural causes. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. Can I go? <laughs> the music is way too happy for <laughs> for this. Look at my look at at my squad mates. They fit to oh, they look amazing. I love them so much. Okay. Um let me see. Do we have any Maybe we could go back to the Emporium. I was looking if maybe we had any um, exclamation mark, but I don't see anything so far. Does she say anything new? Welcome to Presidium Tourism. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of goodbye. No. Goodbye and thank you Nothing for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Let me just go around. Wait. Really? Let me just go around to make sure. Cause, um... I'm, I'm scared of missing anything, you know? Maybe going around here is not the best idea though. I don't know. Let's, let's try still. Seasec embassies. Maybe if I go down here? And then... Yeah, this shopkeeper. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic yes. items today? please. Show me your items. Oh, this you will one not is be disappointed, to do so, okay. Human. Maybe you will not upgrades? be disappointed. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Infernal rounds 10. Shield interface. Sure. I'm just buying everything. Okay, wait. Commander. Like to buy something. Uh, oh, this one is. What about your standard stuff? Oh, oh, a license. Yes, please. And two unique items. Nice. That's perfect. And now Commander. let me see your non-human armor. Um. Okay, I'm I'm just with uh Okay. Okay, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Equipment. I think I have 
it's on my shotgun that I have infernal rounds, I think. If I remember. High explosive rounds. Oh no, inferno is this one. Okay, wait, so it's not this one. What about this? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Tungsten. We never had better than that. Kind of sad. Maybe I could put Inferno. You have less accuracy though. There's that. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, I might put it on this one. Let's put it here. Shredder. Frictionless. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. Let me see the map again. Um, so we could go... I guess... Oh, I'm not sure. The bank... That's the Volus dude, right? Yeah. Maybe he has something new to say. Great. How can this happen? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Commander. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Greetings, Earth. How can this humble servant be of use to you? Okay, no, there's nothing new. Goodbye, Commander. I actually talked to Shadow Broker, and I refused to help them. I don't know how that's gonna bite me in the ass later in the Mass Effect 2 and 3, probably. <laughs> um, maybe we can go to... Maybe the markets. I can probably buy some stuff as well like licenses or upgrades i know i'm like at the end of the game but still maybe if i can get good stuff for the last combats or whatever welcome back earth clan show me what you've got okay so no we have nothing new all right that's fine that's totally fine what about downstairs I like lower market oh Oh hi, yeah, hi. <laughs> Got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. Uh, go ahead. It's on your mind. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? I can Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. I can't do that but anyway. I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. There are other fights. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. <laughs> you... You're right. <laughs> I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. Uh... I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. That worked. Nice. I had enough charm. I'm full, so. Paragon plus A. Let's go. Let's look at my... Uh... Yeah, I'm like full, full. Unless the seven... Like, the last thing at the top... Unless that also fails, I'm not sure. I'm just level 27. I thought I was more than that. Alrighty. Uh, are we soon to be... Okay, soon to be level 28, I guess. All right. We have another dude here that I could buy stuff from. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Who's Baines? What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. Damn. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good Standard. things I have. You will see. Um... Okay, you have nothing yes, new. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Uh... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Okay. Nothing really new, I guess. Alright. 
He said with the doctor. Maybe I should talk to her. Wards med clinic. I can also go to the flux. And I think. Let me just see where Anderson is. Oh, he's at the flux. Okay, so I should go to Chorus Den before, I guess. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, maybe I can talk to her again. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. But I, I chose I'll to be going now. I already Goodbye, heard Commander. that Let's shit. Talk. Okay. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do Let for you? Let me take a look at what you have of for course. sale. Of course. Armor upgrade. Okay, that's not really good. All right. Damn. Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to Chorus Den. I know Flux is just there, but... um. No blood for aliens. Oh, I can talk to this Excuse person. Me. You're the Spectre, right? Yes. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. I don't know who What's that is. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With oh. Augustus Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Oh, I see. Can I count on your support in the next election? Uh, that's that's what I said to Ashley when we were rest in peace, Ashley. When we were um uh, talking together, and I said, "Ooh, your views would fit with Terra Firma Party or something." And she was like, no, they're really intense, like xenophobic and, and whatever. So it's them. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years, the war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. You're useless. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Hmm. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space. But you can't have stayed in any one subtle system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Oh boy. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. But many of your subordinates make this a point of race, not politics. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Turian space borders yours. Of course we're concerned about your leadership. Right. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. I mean, I I get it. Like I get where he's coming from. Um, I understand why people might be scared, but that's I wouldn't vote for that kind of party. Like like I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That is not my kind of um of a politic party. But um, I I don't like. I don't like when a country or, in this case, entire Earth, is ruled by fear. Like, I don't think that's a very good way of doing things at all. And I'm not saying that they are terrorizing Earth people, that's not what I'm saying, like humans. I'm saying that it's ruled by fear because they, everything that uh, drives them is being scared that aliens will do something against them. Or against humanity, right? That's that's what I understand anyway. Maybe I'm like extrapolating right now, but that's what I understand. So it's like, okay, yeah, we have, we have, we should have co complete control. 
of everything basically and even he said even in the alliance they should they have no right to interfere in alliance politics but alliance okay wait so alliance is entirely human right or am i mistaken the council is composed of many different aliens but the alliance is like the hum human fleet right so in this case i kind of agree maybe i'm misunderstanding though but at the same time i don't think that you should encourage your military to use force and fear against other like for me the purpose of having a military in your country and i've always thought like that for me the purpose is defense or protection and help being able to help others that are in need you send your military to help them that's how i see military it's not like aggressive for to me now it depends where you live i understand i'm from canada so the canadian military is like very very passive and you know we help we always help but that's what i like you know what i mean this is like using military as a force and I feel like the way he thinks is like taking ground from other aliens. It's not just protecting humanity, but maybe maybe I'm I'm misunderstanding. I don't know. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. Right. We've At heard first... that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. No, <laughs> no. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Of course. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Like, like Earth first. That's weird. I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime? I, I have a feeling that these will have a bigger impact on later games, like Mass Effect 2 or 3. I have a feeling this is just the beginning. Like it's gonna be more political coming, coming in later. Maybe. I... Yeah. And you know, maybe we'll get betrayed by the council or something. Like, you guys know I'm very vocal against the the council. I think they... I understand though, because it's a political body. Like, it totally makes sense. This game is so realistic for that. Um, but I'm very much, like, vocal against the council. And I do think that they are always kind of against humans. Like, even though they are composed of many different um, alien races. Like, humans are not regarded very well in the in the galactic space. Like, we are seen as bullies, we're seen as people that don't work well with others. Um, it's what people have been saying anyway. So, I feel like it's our job to prove them wrong, while also, of course, protecting our best interest. But I think our best interest includes working well with aliens, you know? It wouldn't be our best interest to just go and and try to put put humanity first everywhere like that's not how it works in the galactic space there are so many other aliens you know and now i'm just thinking if if there's a lot of humans thinking like this i'm sure there's a lot of krogans thinking the same way like maybe some krogans also have a political party well they're not very well um politically engaged i guess but if if they were like there there would be like a party that is like Krogans first, and and then Salarians is probably the same, and Turians and you know ev everybody like I'm guessing everybody has a bit of a of apprehension towards all the other alien races. It just makes sense. 
but that doesn't mean that it's the right way to instinctly by reflex almost um react to everything i think the best way is to be open-minded especially at first and then yeah you can get betrayed probably like it will probably happen but at least you tried you know and it's not an entire race probably it's just like and it, it, it wait it's the same for us like i guess a lot of people from humanity would betray an, an alien race if they had to you know that doesn't mean we can't work together is what i mean i'm talking way too much about this i'm sorry it's just that before i was a nurse because i'm i'm a registered nurse before i was a nurse i was um i studied in international relations um so it's very interesting to me like i love politics but i'm really interested that there's that in this game it's very realistic i like that i wanted to see the alliance i just wanted to Come. see um Bio. Fat. Fair. the home world and capital systems alliance the systems alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole right the alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and states. Right, and that's okay. The alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Right. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. Right. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. So that's fine. Like, obviously, hey, aliens shouldn't have anything to say about the alliance like that's our body of defense i guess and 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 making choices so like they don't yeah like i agree that they, they shouldn't interfere uh with that but i think every race has that like every other alien race has that probably or species I, i'm sorry i'm saying race all the time but they also say race in in the game so i'm not wrong like what they say race all the time so i guess i'm right when i say race but sometimes they say species so it depends they even say that the gap calling them like uh, ai or v uh, wait calling them vi is like ra racism uh how do they say that? And it's better to call them synthetics. Um, where was that? It was in Maine. In the, the, Geth. the Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate Maybe them. Maybe it's not, it's not this. After the Geth secure a locate, the Citadel. The whole Maybe it's uh the rough rough fifth Wait 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 Okay In the driven from their home system by the I don't remember where it was I'm ago. sorry but anyway they said it's institutionalized racism to call the get like just machines because by now they are their own race and we should call them synthetics. So I guess I'm not wrong when I, I'm talk, I talk about race. Soldier, I've got a major situation and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Okay. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias <laughs> Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. Yeah. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What exactly is this stimulant? Why? 
Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will I mean, respect us wrong. until we show them who's in charge. I that's disagree with that. The See? Yeah, forget my assistant. That's that's what I disagree with. Why is this with? deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my You're assistant. You're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. And the game is wrong. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. Oh, after this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No they trade say negotiation that. is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to right. get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> not uh, well pleased. I'll get help. Okay. I'm just sorry it came to this. Dude, what the fuck? So they take stimulants to negotiate. All the races? That's interesting. Damn, it's complicated, eh? I didn't go to... <laughs> Am I dancing? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Y'all want to dance with me? This music is interesting. <laughs> I wonder if I can find a copy to bring back to the flotilla. You almost never see any keepers in this club. <laughs> I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them. Away. There's one. The last one I had to find. Wait, can I talk to the Hey, good to see another human in here. Captain Under Anderson, okay. Commander, thanks again for all your help. I don't wanna talk to him right now. I just I just wanna go around. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay, then why can I talk to you? Nobody's doing anything! Oh, he's happy. Okay. <laughs> Nobody was doing... They were almost T-posing. <laughs> almost. No, they weren't. Okay, Captain Anderson. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. No, no, you felt... me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. That's a really cool shot. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ireland. I Iris. love him. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Yep. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren right. finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. He believes so I'll in do me. whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. Amazing. I can unlock the Normandy 
from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Right. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. <gasps> we don't have a lot of options. Oh my god. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I feel like he won't have a capital offense or whatever, you know? Like, it won't be as bad. Not yet. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I want to go to Kors I'll Den be right first. Here waiting for you. Just in case there's anything to do. Um, and then I'll come back. Was that the right choice, though? It was, like, the bottom right, so it's, uh, usually it's, like, renegade. But, um, in this situation, I feel like it was better to do that. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I can go to C-Sec as well for, uh, uh, the, um, how do you call? The, um... The head of CSEC. Wait, am I going the right way? I never remember around here. I am not, in fact, going the right way. I don't know why I'm always confused at course then. When I arrive with the transit. No! No, I was right? Fuck me, dude. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> I, it's because I always think it's just the transit there, but it's no, it's, it's really like you can go. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's an Asari. I never noticed before. Okay. I thought Tally was uh, giggling like that. I was like, what the hell? I got business here, but not with you. Not now. Watch the ship go away. <laughs> let me, let okay, me there's worry. nothing new. I guess there's nothing new. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. CSEC always turned a blind eye to what went on in here. Mm. I think Fist was paying someone. Fist was paying someone off, really. That makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense, let's be honest. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go to CSEC. Just to see if we can talk to... Maybe Udina's here as well? Maybe not here. Uh, is it? It's not here though. I'm wrong. Wait. It's up. I need to go to Presidium actually. Garrus, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Torian? Right. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Hmm. Interesting. Loyal to a madman or someone that kills everybody? For real? 
that doesn't bode well. I actually really don't like that. But I mean, it's culture. Like, I, I get it. I don't blame her. But um, I don't like that. I'm just... I don't. I hope that Aquarians are not against humanity someday. And then Tally has to make a choice. Like a, like a really difficult choice or something. That was interesting. Okay, so Udina is not here. And the C-Sec dude is here on the other side. Pa Paladin, is it? I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything. Because I know that I'm not coming back. Which makes me sad, by the way, guys. I'm like... I'm not super sad today because I know that I still have two other games to play of Mass Effect, at least. And that's Palin, I'm, I'm sorry. And that's if I don't play... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably play Andromeda as well, so three other games, you know? So I'm fine. But, like, it is very bittersweet every time I finish a game. Especially, like, this one I loved Shepherd, so much. what can I do for you now? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provide... Okay, I guess now. there's nothing Goodbye. new. All right, we can we can tell Anderson we're ready. Oh my god, I'm stressed. I am quite stressed, but we don't have a choice. Let's go to the flux. All right. By the way, I have a scar here as well. Um, just like my... Well, you see her. Wait, can I? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Like this. Um, but we don't see it. We only see this one. But yeah. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Kind of, kind of like the the whole look actually. I wish I had short hair though. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's go. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. <sighs> fuck! 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 Fuck, dude. I just hope nothing happens to Anderson. Like, that's all. That's all I hope. Because, um... I really love him. He's got our back. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. Me too! How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level yes. to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected mm -hmm. flanking maneuvers. Yep. If it comes to a fight, I'd prefer a flotilla ship. It's easier to trust what you've worked on yourself. <laughs> okay. Joker, stand by. <laughs> stand by, shore party. Decontamination. In progress. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't. <laughs> He's amazing. The music is so epic. Look behind you. Please, back away from the console. Hands up. Now. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, don't kill him, please. Let's go! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Oh my god, I was so afraid he would die. Is it because of the choice I made? Oh, Lord. What a champ. Holy shit. Bye! Fuck y'all. <laughs> Except Anderson. Thank you, Anderson. My dude. <laughs> Let's go to Ilos. 
All right. Hylos it is. Let me talk to my crew first. Um, <laughs> not here. Yeah, let me talk to my crew first. Before we go. And I think maybe I can equip better stuff. I'm, I'm not sure though. Uh, let me go talk to Liera. Just see if she has something new to say. We never know. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to of talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to okay, talk about? Okay, she has about? nothing. Goodbye, Shepard. All right. Did I replenish? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, Kaiden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of. We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their. What's your opinion on the last input? Question? We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them, or in all of them? Anything so old, so yeah, they've been around a while. We'll talk another time. Okay, no, nothing new. I guess nothing new from anybody, but we never know. I'm so sad Ashley is not here too. I keep forgetting. Like I don't know. I'm so used to seeing her in in here. It's just weird to not have her anymore. Stealing an alliance ship, risky stuff. <laughs> but I'm right behind you, nice. Shepard. Nice. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I love him. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. He'll get us through, Shepard. Does he have anything? What can you tell me about the Genophy? Ask all I know. Okay. So long, oh. Rex. Nothing new. These went back okay you have new Looking stuff for supplies i bought i bought see the um <laughs> we, we got the x's now i bought um oh i could wear that i guess oh it's not better than what i have never mind i bought a license so i don't know if oh my god it takes forever okay no there's nothing garris i can't believe we stole the normandy <laughs> After everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? What choice did we have? Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Right. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Let's go see Tally. We're fugitives on the run. <laughs> Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll mm. never catch us. Mm. I hope you're right. See you later. Does, does she has does she have anything else? Hey Shepard. Do you need something? I want to know more about the Okay, I want to talk about something. I should go. Nothing new. All right. All right, 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 all right. We all good. No, I'm not stalling, okay? No, I kind of am. I kind of am, actually. Can we... Thank you. Ilos. Let's go to Ilos. Upstairs. Let me see my journal. Uh, use the Mew relay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. I think there's a delay as well in the sound. Just a second, guys. Okay, should be fine now. All right. There we go. Refuge. Oh, I'm scared. I 
I don't know why I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed because I lost Ashley. So I'm like, can I lose anybody else? That's what scares me, you know? Oh my God. Like the stakes are high, you know? It feels like that anyway. Nothing to see. All right. I lost. In the golden age of the Protheans, I lost was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. I lost has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably annihilated by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity. Damn. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Okay, Go what ahead. Is I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. <gasps> Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. Yeah, I thought you wanted to wait. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Yes, but not now. Just tell me what to do. Oh, damn. I guess now. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh my god. Nipples, interesting. By the goddess, that was <gasps> incredible, Shepard. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> you were incredible. Oh my Five minutes god! Five ETA to the Mew relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting, Shepard. Paramore. <laughs> I just wanted to say. Thank you for everything. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. That was but I hope we didn't like Are we like bound together now or something? Cuz I I mean I don't know. I know I don't know much about her, you know what I mean? We'll see, I guess. But that was very nice. <laughs> was that in my chambers or Oh, that's some get um Chips. Ships. Not chips. <laughs> Ships. Oh my god. Uh, Commander, I'm flustered. We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. <sighs> the descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Yeah, Joker can do it. Joker? I can do it. Yeah, I believe. That's Get what I was about to say. To the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Yep, he can do it. 
I believe. Oh my god, who do we take? Who do we take? Um, 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 uh, um, uh, <laughs> ah! um, I mean, I saved Kaiden for a reason, right? I guess. And Garrus? We have some text trained. Yeah. Let's try that. I was about to say, like, just let Joker do it, his thing. He can do it. He said he could do it. I believe in him. I've talked to him enough times. I trust him. He can do it. Even if it seems impossible for anybody else. He's the best. At that, at least. So are we gonna see some protein... Like, corpses? Holy shit! You two, keep moving inside, now! <laughs> Bitch, right on top of him! Right on top of him! Holy shit, that was amazing. Joker, you're the best. Joker, you're the best. Roger we that. We have to get inside this bunker before <laughs> Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. All right. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right, 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 all right. Oh, look at that. Are those the proteins? Oh, oh what is this? Oh. All right. Uh, no, I'm fine with that, but... Overload? That worked. Oh shit. Oh shit, that one-shots me. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know what's going on with the other one. Good lord. Okay. Unity. Um, I'm sorry. There we go. Where is Garrus? I don't even know. Uh, did you die again? Oh my god. Garrus, did he die like earlier or something? I thought he released the the ball of electricity, but he didn't. <sighs> Garrus, where the fuck were you? There we go. Oh boy. Uh Okay, 
Okay, we got one. Now the other. Oh lord. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, that's good. Um, let's use overload. Overload, overload. Oh lord. There we go. That's better. Alright. Let's see what's in there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's take Omnigil. Yeah, are those Protheans or... I think we can see them in the... I, I think we can see them in the... Um... Oh, let me put some points. I'm sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Okay, you're full. In the Codex... Instinct race? It, are those ago, the like were the only Protheans? Spaces. I'm not sure. They kind of look like that too. This place feels, wrong. feels wrong? Yeah. No, I get that. Saving, thank you. I don't see anything. Oh! On my radar, but now I do. Nothing around here or. Hacking is not too bad. For sure. Hmm. Dude, what the fuck? What just caught me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, shield boost. Holy shit. Okay, wait. Okay. Where do we go? Okay, wait. We can pass to here? Oh yeah, we can. What the fuck? That's so weird. Wait. Okay, that's an elevator. Alright. That's such a weird um building, like the way the way everything is made. It's so ancient, you know? Jammed. God damn. Sure, whatever. I want the XP. <laughs> that's why I'm taking everything. I guess. I don't know if I would have the XP if I didn't do that. I'm not sure. Okay, wait a minute. Do I go here? Get... Wait, how do I... Hmm. 
<laughs> Lord, uh, wait a minute. I can't go there. Was it totally useless to come here? I guess it was. Okay. It's just for the, the crate. It's a weird map. Like, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go exactly. Like, it's just strange. I guess up here. Yeah. Jesus. Fuck. These are so annoying. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Another elevator. Okay. All right. It's so stressful. I don't know. There's something about it. Place still has power. Must be running off its own generator. Yeah. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after we went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. <laughs> Saving content. Prime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. Fuck. Jesus. There's one over us. to flank us that ain't working I could go up though like I can go upstairs let me just see oh, can I yeah from here Everybody was doing kind of bad. Okay. Okay, there's nothing. All right. Sorry about that. I'm trying to um not miss anything. Oh. All right. Oh lord. Wait. Okay, I I can't. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? I can have it on my side? I guess. Oh my god, that's scary. I could have just done that? Man, I don't know if it's a good idea. Armature hacked. Okay, okay. Interesting. Maybe it can be useful later. I don't know. Maybe I could have done that during the fight. <laughs> Would have been better. There's a crate here. We fine. Okay. <sighs> it's safe, just in case. I'm sorry.
Okay, so we can't... We can't do anything for now. Elevator, but it's locked. Security panel. I guess I have to go in the security panel first. Is it like upstairs? Because I don't think it's... Here? Up? Yeah. Up here. Yeah, okay. Makes Come sense. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Oh. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Frothian. This oh. recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. I understand it because I have the beacon. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language. That's into amazing. Your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. I wonder how it sounds for them. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. The Citadel. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Damn. Okay, so Sovereign is gonna try to attack the Citadel. Citadel is lost. Damn. Because he's trying to do the same thing, right? That they did before with the Proteans, but like with us now. Us being like humanity, but also the rest of the alien races that are too developed, basically, in his opinion. I say he, but I guess it's it. I'm not sure. Sovereign, I mean. Damn. enemy but okay so can we go now yeah okay I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us they must have been in too Holy much shit. Hurry. well we just haven't run into it that looks so cool it looks amazing. Look at that. Holy. I'm stressed. Uh. I forgot I could just use my... Containers? They look like stasis pods. The proteins probably... Tried it, yeah. Holy. Oh, fuck. I can't see. Okay. All right. What is that? Can I go through? What's happened? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. Oh. I don't think Saren's behind this. Shit.
Okay. Okay. What the hell? Wait, the music! That's the music from the beginning! Why is it so peaceful? What the fuck? It's the music from the uh... What do you think we're gonna find out? It has to be useful if it specifically targeted us. I don't know. I just hope that whatever's down here is friendly. We've got enough enemies at the moment. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. But Prothean. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps oh, shit. there is still So hope. Saren is really indoctrinated. Wait a minute. How obviously. come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Oh, what the hell? That's so my cool. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are Holy. you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. Mm. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. So it's not Protean. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the oh. empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. Oh, when the Lord. Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour oh, through, God. and all you know will be destroyed. So the citadel is not Prothean. The Protheans found the citadel just like we did. And the keepers were already there probably like taking care of it or whatever. Making sure it... So are the keepers with the reapers then? Like just on standby? Because they said that they keep the citadel running like whatever the cost that's all they do they don't talk they just we need to keep the citadel running and sovereign said we wait until you become advanced like like you you become advanced enough that we judge that we need to get rid of you basically that's that's what sovereign said like i'm i'm obviously english is not my first language so i'm i'm like butchering everything but you know what i mean like that's the idea so maybe the reaper uh, the the keepers are actually like part of that process of making sure the citadel is always up and running and then when the reaper the reapers are like okay it's time then the keepers make sure that everything is okay and the mass relay works or something like that if that that would make sense also there's like a statue no of like a mass is it a mass relay it is a mass relay there's like a statue of a mass relay in the citadel is it is that like the mass relay or do they it's just a statue it's not just a statue then it makes sense like because he said the whole citadel is a mass relay i'm not sure how that works that's insane nobody ever noticed the citadel was an inactive mass relay the reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the citadel hidden that is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic the keepers that's what i'm saying the keepers maintain it makes so much the station's sense. most basic functions yeah they enable any species that discovers the citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology yeah. Reliance on the keepers ensures no other species will ever discover okay, the Okay, it's even worse than I thought. Nature. 
Not until the relay is activated. Right. And the Reapers in And they activate it. It's even worse. They ensure that nobody can can know. It's not just like keeping it running. Wow. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. So if, if we keep them in hibernation, we could actually extinct them. Like, we could beat them. They just need to not wake up. We need to stumble across them in in the dark space. We need to go in the dark space, basically. That's crazy. The perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. Holy shit. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Oh my god. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. Holy world shit. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No. No offer of surrender was ever given. Mm. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, oh sensor data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Oh lord. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the Can galaxy. Can you imagine? Holy shit. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Wow. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Holy Where shit. did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare. Harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. To repopulate, I guess? Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely, they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot yeah, hope that's to what comprehend. I'm In the end, what does it matter? Mm. Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I just wonder why... Uh, I just... Uh, I'm sorry, I wonder if Earth was not on the map yet, like it was too long ago, and Earth was not on like had not discovered other galactic alien races and the citadel didn't know about earth so we were like not uh extinct because of that like we were out but since now we are in the citadel on the council and whatever then earth is also in danger like everybody's in danger basically but how how did life come back again like that's you said you brought me here for a reason Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. 
Here, researchers work it to create a small scale version the of a mass relay, vigil. <laughs> one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. When I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> the conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door under the Citadel. Jesus. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. Yeah, that's a fair question, actually. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. Why? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger mm. had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So, this is a tomb? Like everybody is dead in those pods? You should have fought. We no, were a that's few not what hundred I mean. against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. No, I agree with the, with them. It makes sense. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First Jesus. support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. That's a tomb, guys. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I mean, it was necessary. It was. He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. But they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. Yeah, I that's... saved key personnel. Ugh. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they I vowed see. to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. They made the a beacons. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. Okay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. I see. Using the conduit, they gained access That's to the why. Citadel and made the modifications. Whoop, 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 whoop. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. I'm, I'm sorry I missed it. <laughs> I missed it, what, what he said. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll listen back to it um, when I edit. Um, this time when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. Okay, so from what I understand, usually the Reapers would just need to send a signal to the Citadel, uh, to the Keepers, and then the Keepers would open the mass relay, but the scientists were able to block that, right? And so now he needs to use the conduit. I'm so sorry, I, I, I didn't know someone would come in, and I can't pause in this game when there's a cutscene. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? Jesus. <laughs> There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Jesus. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? In the inaccessible core? To the conduit. 
Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Right. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. Jesus. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Right. Sovereign's allies were because trapped the in the void. Alone, the it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. <laughs> Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. That's good for me. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries. Moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle. Working through agents to keep itself hidden. Hmm. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Hmm. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacon spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly that's, from world to world. That's amazing. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. I'm getting a headache from it Vigil. Unlikely there were other survivors. I'm gonna listen but to it. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. Quite you the could risk, have exposed yeah. yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps right. we did not fail after all. Right. It really hurts the eye. Uh. It's so really intense. When the Reapers the... created the Citadel, Good thing I'm not they epileptic. created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Okay. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination. Or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In mm. any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the I Keepers see. are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. Nice. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Yeah. Now, no, they I got are completely that. harmless. That explains the gap. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. Mm. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. It's easier to control Geth. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Especially since they worship Sovereign. They see it as a god. Like the, the pinnacle of what they could be. The Geth, you know? What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They it used the Conduit off, to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. Okay. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. Jesus. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal but the But we don't relay. know. Maybe they are in the Your inaccessible core. Your presence their sacrifice was not no? in vain. 
Maybe they did a stasis pod in the inaccessible core and... In inaccessible? You know what I mean, in the core? Saren's that would getting be enough cool. Of a head start. Grab yeah, let's go. File and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There Jesus. is still hope if you hurry. Okay, I'm so tired of looking at it. Okay. Renegade plus two. Alright. I don't know what I did. Wow, that was um, very informative and uh, now I'm even more scared. So pretty sure that the whole Reaper thing is going to so be... So many races looked up to the Protheans as paragons of civilization. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Not entirely. They've given us a weapon yeah. they've given us a chance. I wouldn't say they failed. If we can just get there in time. I was about to say, um... This is probably going to be the overarching story for all the, um... So it's Vigil that put those... Oh, I see. The yellow barriers. Uh, it's going to be the overarching story for all Mass Effect games, probably, right? Like, trying to get rid of the Reapers. I'm guessing. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of them in this game. I would be surprised, let's say. Jesus. That was amazing. The whole conversation with him, with Vigil, well, it. I see him again. We don't have a timer. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on now. Holy shit. He's gonna try to attack this citadel dude. Genuinely scared right now. Like that was. There, the con. Holy shit! That's a big it's mass incredible. relay, no? We don't have time to admire the view. We have yeah. to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's suffering with all the get. We're too late. Oh my god, I have chills. No. Holy shit, we're too late. Defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? Oh my goodness. Fuck off, dude. We're too late. Country closing. Country closing. What do you mean? Hang on, things are gonna get a little rough. Okay, we don't care, we don't care, we don't care, we just go. We don't care, we just go. We don't care. Oh my god. 
Did I just get prop propulsed with the Mako in space? Critical failures detected. Oh my god, the citadel. Systems. See, that's the statue I was talking about. It's not a statue. That's what I was saying. It's a it's a mass relay. Or a conduit or whatever you want to call it. That's so fucking epic. What the fuck? No, my poor Mako. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's crazy. We have no time. We need we need to gain access to um Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We need to gain access. Of course there's some husk. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire uh -huh. level. Uh -huh. Non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. <laughs> lost all primary power oh, she's level. glitching! Mental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, <gasps> and Civilian seven. casualties are high. Civilian casualties are high. Fuck. I wonder why they, they chose Nassari as a model. Authorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to okay. the Destiny Ascension. Okay. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information Shit. on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is near the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel security is unable to respond at this time. <laughs> Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. Fuck, 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 dude. Oh my god, dude. This is catastrophic. Like... Fuck. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Oh, Saren. Okay, keepers. Keepers, you fucking... Useless to me now. That's Destiny Ascension, right? Ships inside the arms. Oh my god, uh, dude. I haven't saved in a while, I should save. That can't be good. Oh my god, what the hell? He's disgusting. He's really insect like as a ship. Sarah, like, I, I don't know elevator. how to explain. I mean, I Going know he's outside. not just a ship, but. my god are you kidding me right now there ain't no way oh lord oh my god 
Okay, sure. <sighs> what? Lifted into oblivion. It was crazy. I'm sorry. this way I guess I do yes oh my god Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay. That's it. Bag him okay, it's saved. We're fine. I, I should still save, like, by myself. 30 hours, y'all. Holy. Oh my god. Open. It will have some defense. This one as well. Uh. Oh my god, this is so epic though! This is crazy! We need the other here. Open. Oh my god, my dudes! Sovereign. That's insane. Fuck me, dude. Ah. Fuck, 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 shield. Shield, 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 shield. There we go. Okay. Thank 
Thank you for the lift, Kaiden. This is insane. Oh god. What the fuck is that? Oh boy. Fuck, 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 where? Fuck me. Oh lord. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm like right in the open. <laughs> That's why. How do you break that, dude? Sabotage. Damping, maybe? Okay, that helps. Yeah, my team is doing good, eh? The music! Yeah. Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Alright. Getting there. I don't actually know where I'm going right now. Here. Yeah, I see. I see the exclamation uh, mark. Okay. A hatch. Oh my god. I'm so stressed. Mm. <gasps> I was like surprised already. Okay. I thought it would take longer. I'm sorry. Then you need some uh, some help. Okay. There we go. All right. Shield. I'm just powering through. I don't even. Oh, Saren. Is that Saren? Yeah, it is. Come on. Dude. What the fuck? Of course. It in time, Shepard. Can I get this? Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers <laughs> along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You <laughs> love her, don't you? In a few minutes, <laughs> Sovereign will have so full good. control of all the Citadel systems. Oh my the god. Open, the Reapers will return. I can stop I've them. still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I I've did. changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my oh, hesitation. Shit. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now oh, my God. doubts are gone. 
I believe in sovereign completely. So I did not help myself doing that. Eh? that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. Ew. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. Genuinely this ew. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. <gasps> I have a charm, I have a charm. I can do it. We can Sovereign them. hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is <gasps> still a chance. It's working. For <laughs> Does it hurt like the the Torian? Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Shit. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. <gasps> Wait, could I have saved him when it was really too late for him? Oh my lord. I have two points, wait. Uh, uh just a second. <laughs> Codex? What? I mean, it's not really the time for that, I guess. Feral. Oh, high loss. Okay. It was too late for him. Oh shit. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control. He's screaming, of the but his face is like so normal. See if you can open a communications channel. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. All right. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Right. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. God, Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh. Jesus. Um. Save the Council. I Opening mean, the relays is that really now, a Joker. question? We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Like, Alliance if I, ships move in. I can't Save speak. the Destiny Ascension. If I don't do that, everybody's gonna hate humanity because we had a chance to save Commander, we're picking up many different races, the like Alliance. the Council. The like everybody would be like, "Oh, humanity is really just just apart, like from us." Okay, they already hate us enough. You know what I mean? Like, this council is still gonna hate me, but they would hate, everybody would hate me more, I guess, if I didn't. I don't know. I, I'm Destiny not sure. You are all clear. Repeat, you are all How to clear. explain, I mean? The Holy Citadel's shit. opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. See, that's fine. If I have a chance to save someone, I always will. I always will. 
I know it's to the cost of many human lives, I guess, but still. And you guys know I don't like the council, but make sure he's dead. It's it's worth it, even if it's for just proving that we're on everybody's side. Like, like, like Kaiden said. You know, it's it's every organic life, not just ours. Anyway, that's my. Jesus. And it's Garrus that does it. He's dead. Damn. What? With the implant? Oh, he's dead all right. What? Oh god. Okay, no, he's not. Come on, 
Who's there? Fuck! Holy shit. Almost there. Where is he? There we go. Holy shit. I'm sorry I'm screaming. This is so intense, like, I cannot deal right now. <laughs> Okay. Come on, come on, come on, go. Maybe if you go under, like you can the kill shields it. Are down. Now's our yeah, chance. yeah, exactly. Let's go, Joker. Get it with everything we got. Hard on my flank. We're going in. Joker! Yep. That's what I was thinking. Holy shit. Is it really over? Go! Is it really over? Oh my god. I guess maybe we can take pieces of it and and study it or something. Maybe we could learn stuff about reapers that could help us. And then on the other end I'm like burn everything, you know? We found them. They're in here. Captain Anderson is fine. Oh my god, thank god. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Honor. Okay, what does that mean? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. It's Many not over, humans though. lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief Finally. over the tragic loss of so I'm many have to noble disconnect men well, I can't right now. The Council anyway. also owes you a great personal debt, Commander. One we can never repay. You're you goddamn saved right. not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand Thank for. Thank you. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. Right. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. 
Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? <laughs> Captain Anderson. We need someone Obviously. with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Not Udina. Someone like Fuck Captain him. Anderson. You trying to make me blush, Shepard? <laughs> are you sure about this, Commander? Yeah, fuck the you. Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the captain on the council than any politician I know. I think it's an inspired choice. The council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. It isn't over yet. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. This exchange is over. <laughs> we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. Yep. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. No, we just extinct them. Can we do that? <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that, but still. Joker deserves some kind of medal or something. I don't know. Like, everybody worked really well, but Joker, though, holy shit. Wow, 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 just wow. I am blown away by the ending. That was so much fucking fun. I was so stressed the whole time. But we made it through. I'm scared if, if this song is gonna get copyrighted. I'm sorry if it's muted, um, but what a game. I know that a lot of you guys were waiting for me to play this game and I'm so grateful for you to have waited for so long. And I know it was a favorite for a lot of people, but I I did I didn't know why. You know, I never played and now I know why. It's probably my favorite sci-fi game I've ever played. Like I don't think I've ever played another sci-fi in space like space game as good as this like this was amazing just amazing let me get the music down a little bit i loved it from beginning to end i love the lore i love the choices you make i love the stakes that 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 exist in the universe yes yeah, sure the the like 100 percenting this game must be a bit tedious but i'm not here to 100 percent i'm just here to have fun and this game delivered amazing i am so excited to play mass effect 2 you guys told me a lot of you guys uh, told me that mass effect 2 is actually your favorite in the trilogy so i'm like okay what because i love mass effect 1 so much so i'm like how is that even possible but i guess we'll see for me, it was no question to save the council, um, even though I disliked them a lot, but you know, it's politics. I think if we had not saved them, every alien race would have looked at us and said when they had a chance to save our leaders on the council, they did not. Like, that's what would have happened. And if another cancel council would have been made, they would have disregarded humanity, I think. So I did not want that. I wanted to prove that we're here to stay, but we're here to help as well. And we're willing to work with others and not just save our own asses. Um, so it, it didn't matter. If I can save someone, I will. It was the same on Asteroid X57. I had, I had the chance to kill 
that um, slave leader, Batarian dude. But it was at the price of hostages' lives, so I decided to save the hostages. Now here I know that a lot of people died, humans died because I decided to save the council. I understand that, but I still think that it was the right choice. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in Mass Effect 2. Maybe it has absolutely no impact, but I doubt it because it's a last choice in the game. Like, there's no way that it's not a big impact. We'll see. Um, yeah, the game is amazing. You guys know, you've watched the playthrough until now. You've seen how engrossed by the game I was and I still am and I just love it so much. Thank you to everybody who worked on this game. Thank you to all the voice acting. It's simply amazing in my opinion. I grew attached to literally all my squad mates. I love them all. And especially my own Persephone Shepherd. Like Joker, Captain Anderson, everybody, everybody is just so amazing and so well developed as a character. It's not just a throwaway, they all have a backstory that explains their motives. They all have a bit of grey in them. Nobody's perfect and that's what I love about games like these. And I'm just so happy about all the love that this playthrough got on YouTube, on my channel. I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, I did not expect. I knew a lot of people were waiting, a lot of people in the community before I posted were waiting for this game, but I had no idea so many new people would come in because of this game and I'm just blown away and I just wanted to thank you everybody uh, for that. If you're still listening, you're a true champion and yeah, I'm just really grateful for you and I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I will play Mass Effect 2 for sure. It's not even a question. Now, I will play it after Bioshock. So next video that I will upload will be Bioshock Remastered first episode. I've never played this game before, so it's a first playthrough as well. But as soon as we're done with Bioshock, which should be in like two or three weeks max, it's a, it's a shorter game. We're jumping right back in Mass Effect 2. Why am I doing this is I like to take a break in between games that have the same universe so that I still I stay fresh and I don't um, either get a burnout from it or um, get too used to the universe and then stop paying attention. I'm also way more hyped when I go back into a game that I know I'm gonna love because I love the previous one and meeting the characters again and stuff like that just makes it way more exciting to me. Whereas if I started it like right now, it wouldn't be the same. So that's why I'm doing this. I hope that you guys understand that and I hope that you'll stay for the playthrough of Mass Effect 2. I will play exactly the same as I played this. I will probably try, if it's the same as Mass Effect 1 and it's as interesting, I will probably do most assignments, almost all. Um, it depends how it's, it's done, but if it's the same as Mass Effect 1, then it's gonna be a similar playthrough, probably very long hours of like two hours episodes probably, and just quite thorough. I'm not saying that I was super thorough with this game, like not, not extensively, but I did everything I really wanted to do, and yeah, it was just an amazing experience, and I need to thank you guys for that because you have made this playthrough really fun. I love to see your your comments on every video. I love to see how excited you were for the next one, that you loved the playthrough, that you were super happy that I was playing. And the way that I played as well was, as I understood, a lot of people liked. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad because I'm just playing, you know, I'm, I'm just me. I don't know, it, it, it doesn't fit for everybody, but a lot of you guys told me that you liked it, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. So yeah, just a generally a big thank you to you guys that really made this playthrough amazing. I was already having an amazing time just playing on my own, but when I started uploading and I saw you guys having such interesting conversations in the comments as well, a lot of things, especially Ashley, sparked a lot of conversation, which I absolutely love. I live for that. Um, 
and just generally some choices. I'm, I haven't posted the Vermeer episode yet, but I'm so excited to see um, like what you guys think about the Vermeer. And it, it, it just, it just, it was so much fun for me to play this on YouTube. So thank you so much for being here for the journey. And yeah, this game is just amazing. Also, I didn't mention, but the music so good the whole sequence with sovereign just destroying the fleet was insane and saren coming back with the implant was crazy i had chills the whole time with vigil i had chills with sovereign with saren at the end it was so epic i'm like perfect ending to for me like that was perfect i absolutely loved it I have nothing to say against this game. Uh, the only thing I would say is like some part of exploration is a bit tedious, but it's optional. You don't have to do it. So it's not even a big deal. Um, I, I have no, nothing to say. And it's an older game. The gameplay is not perfect, but it's still really satisfying to me. And I have no qualms with it. I really had a lot of fun. I think you guys know by now. Like I say I had a lot of fun, but also you can see it when you watch my videos. Like I'm always smiling, always happy to be playing. It's just an amazing game overall so yeah that's it for me um let's see if there's something after the credits or i i guess not i can't even skip oh okay okay there is nothing yeah okay then that's fine i'm gonna i guess maybe there was a po post credit scene or something but no nothing it's fine it's totally fine it's the perfect ending so i'm very excited for mass effect 2 but I also really, really am excited for Bioshock Remastered. I have already played the first two hours and I'm in love with it. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's going to be so much fun. But yeah, um, that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.